Well, here we are, folks, in a classic New York City traffic jam. We'll see what Boston has to offer us. Driving in this city, um, I was just saying, is really an exercise in civility. Um, it's a test. It tests your very core human decency. There's the big city right there. There she is. There she blows. There she blows. In this uh, situation, blow is the operative word. Uh, we're here in Chinatown with AJ. Uh, his stuff is in the street. Where'd this stuff come from, AJ? Uh, I had to go down. Uh, I traveled back in time to a former life. <laughs> And I picked all this stuff up. Oh look, there's my earbuds. You know, you, you know there's a truck waiting? Like you're holding up a truck in the street right now? Yeah. There's nothing I can do about that, dude. It's Chinatown. I probably expected it. Alright. Also, for the record, I didn't knock this shit out here. I didn't technically knock it either. Alright, we're here in Chinatown with AJ. And Greener. And greener. Um, we've decided to take AJ's car for the drop. <laughs> Here's Nelson. Which means sitting in the car. We have all our Troubadour stuff and all the remnants of his failed last relationship yeah. dumped in here. <laughs> no, I'm, we're leaving town right now. It's a sign of the times. It's the flotsam and jetsam of lost love on my lap. Um, we're in this like little fucking car. <laughs> there's three of us and there's like all kinds. <sighs> Greener, did you get the email saying there's no air conditioning in this gig? Yeah, that's alright. There's no air conditioning in my van either. Oh. <laughs> this ride is over. <laughs> alright, we're showing up at apparently the one street in all of New York City where there's no all the hey, sides parking. Do not film this. Don't, no. don't show any uh, street signs. We're not showing <laughs> where this valuable is. Valuable hobo knowledge. Okay, just location. Have anybody knowing this. So. Melissa Greener keeps her van. We're hoping. It, I haven't had a problem yet. Yeah? Yeah. I keep going back there thinking, well, maybe maybe it won't be there this time. But it's always there. And then every time it's there, I always, as I'm approaching, I always think, maybe there's somebody going to be living in it. Or maybe my stuff will be gone from it. But I've never had an issue, so. What kind of van? What kind of van are we talking about? We're talking about a, a 1988 Volkswagen Vanagon, color blue, and um, it's been my, my hobo mobile for the past five or six Hobo's. years. So that takes up a lot of space, like I'd say the rental price on that much square footage in Manhattan. It, it's know? pricey, They're, yeah. A couple it's thousand bucks a month. Right? Definitely for that little bit of real estate. So if you park it, you could just probably park it on the street in Midtown and pay the tickets and still be out ahead, right? You know, I tried that, and it, it didn't work out. If you were living in it. <laughs> right, if you're living in it. Like, I'm talking about, like, the hobos who are probably no, living in I there think, now. No, I think, because when I first came to New York, I paid almost the same amount of rent in the first week of parking tickets oh. than I did in the, in the month for rent, so... So, yeah, I don't think it, if there's a hobo living in there, are we going to ask for first, last, and maybe a deposit? I think, I mean, definitely the security, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> or false sense of. <laughs> Is anyone living in it? Um, let's see. I don't, the door's stuck there. That's how long it's been since I've been in it. No urine? I don't smell any. <laughs> I think it's hobo free. <laughs> some, some 1030 here. Yeah. And my van, in the summertime especially, really likes 2050. Right. But there's just not enough oil, and I don't have any 2050, so I'm just gonna put this in there because it's better to have oil in your car than not oil in your car. Putting some oil in this thing. Dude, this car is weird. Put oil in the bumper? We're gonna die, dude. This will be, this could possibly be our last transmission. Is there anything you wanna say in case it is? Um, just want to say, uh, sorry, mom, that I chose the life of a traveling okay. hobo folk singer. But uh, I know you understand. 
I love you guys. The uh, reservoir here. So just want to make sure everything stays cool and you know keep the engine running nice and cool. It's not good. <laughs> you guys, this thing has kept me on the road for like six years solid. So this thing is not, this is not going to be the last trip for the Vanagon. So we're here in the, in the Vanagon and uh... Here we go, Boston! And it's, <laughs> I seem to have like a dead battery. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that's what it seems like. Broke. My battery is dead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's pile all the stuff back in with one jersey. So, Kathy, were you nervous? Yeah. Tell us the honest. <laughs> this is going to be on the blog. Don't ever do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't, you know, 12 hours seems no. perfectly reasonable for yes. a trip from New York, right? I, I, I need to hear all the gory <laughs> details.